the European Union is willing to do everything in its powers to contribute to a negotiated solution which respects the will of the Ukrainian people. Our first priority is a negotiated and peaceful outcome to the current crisis. We are also committed and ready to support Ukraine to stabilize its economic and financial situation. Last Thursday, European Union heads of state and government welcomed the 11 billion euros package of support to Ukraine presented by the European Commission. Today, thanks to the hard and efficient work of Commissioner Karel de Gucht and his services, the Commission has adopted the first of the foreseen measures. We have agreed a set of unilateral trade provisions that will allow Ukraine to benefit substantially from the advantages offered in the deep and comprehensive free trade area, DCFTA. And this even before the signature of the association agreement with Ukraine. We will make proposals next week, concretely, they are now being prepared, proposals regarding the macro financial assistance. That work is being done uh, in cooperation, of course, with Vice President Oli Rehn and his services. But let me stress that economic support is just a part, an important part, but just a part of our broader efforts to support Ukraine in the current difficult circumstances. Let me recall that as a matter of priority, the European Union has decided to sign the political chapters of the association agreement with Ukraine before the 25th of May, so before the elections. So what does the system of autonomous trade measures really mean? In short, the EU will open its doors to exports from Ukraine, giving a real boost to Ukrainian companies with the knock-on effect of creating or maintaining jobs across the country. And these measures will be valid until the 1st of November 2014. We hope that in the meantime, the agreement, the uh, DCFTA part of the agreement will be signed, of course. If not, we could uh, prolong the measure. I would expect a positive impact for Ukrainian businesses and workers to be felt just weeks after this system comes into force. The expected annual benefits for Ukraine through tariff reductions of the original, as yet unsigned trade deal, is in the region of half a billion euros per year. To be more precise, 487 million euros on the basis of the present trade. So even a few months of this unilateral arrangement would be expected to bring gains in the hundreds of millions of euros for Ukraine. This is why I strongly urge the European Parliament and our EU member states to fast track this proposal so that it can be operational by June. This unilateral system is not a substitute for the deep and comprehensive free trade area that, uh, uh, form the, uh, that from the outset we have proposed uh, to Ukraine. The EU-Ukraine complete trade deal is still the goal. In the medium and long term, only the complete trade deal will modernize Ukraine's economy, provide it with a new lease of life and build the trade ties to Europe that uh, offer a brighter economic and stable future for all Ukrainians.